please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Hey, you guys love the way I designed these Dollar Tree dry erase paddle boards and you guys wanted me to share how I created the images in Canva. So you know I got y'all, right? So this video is going to show you how I designed these images from scratch inside of my face. Canva all right so let's just go ahead and get into it I'm gonna show you what I did let go okay guys I'm so excited about this tutorial these came out so well you'll see you'll see anywho so this is what I'm going to be using today like I showed you it's the teaching tree dry erase paddle boards they are at your local Dollar Trees I actually already had some for my daughter and then you can go to the Dollar Tree web website and don't worry that is not my zip code <laughs> if you saw that I do want you to see that the length is eight inches and the width is six inches and I'm going to to show you how I properly um, display that so what I did was for my images my images are eight and a half by in width by ten and a half in height okay and you want to do that because you want extra room when you're sublimating have you ever seen someone sublimate or you've made a mistake and sublimated and you put the exact size and then it's a little white you do not want that. You want everything to be full coverage with sublimation. So you want to have more than less or just barely enough. Okay. So both of these images are eight and a half by 10 and a half. And I'm going to show you quickly how I recreate, how I created this. So this one, if you're cheering your son or your nephew or your grandson or your daughter uh, for football or even cheerleading or basketball, you can make these fans. And what I did here was I went ahead, I'm going to add a new page. And what I did was I searched and we're going to just start all over. I searched football field okay and then you pick which one resonates with you I love these lights it reminds me kind of like remember the Titans or something so I went ahead and I right clicked and I'm going to set this image as my background okay so once I have that image I went to my uploads my brother went ahead and sent me a photo. Now look at this photo, y'all. Look at this screenshot. What am I supposed to do with this? So I'm going to show you how I fixed it. So the first thing I did was cropped it. And you can close this to make it bigger. You can use this to make it bigger down at the bottom. You see that? So if you need to make it larger so you can make sure that you're doing everything you need to do. Now this photo he gave me is a little janky. But as you see, we made it do what it do, baby. Where's to Jamie Foxx. <laughs> so what we did is we're going to crop it there. Okay. And then you see that we're going to remove the background. You did not have to remove the background, but I am going to remove the background. How you remove the background. If you're not already with Canva Pro, please click my link down below in the description box. I am an affiliate with them and you can go ahead and sign and get Canva Pro. Being an affiliate, I do get a small percentage at no additional cost to you. Okay, so we're going to go to edit image. Okay, we're going to go to background remover. And then we're going to let it do what it does. Now, depending on the image, sometimes it takes too much. You see that? It took too much. So what we're going to do is you see this restore. We're going to click on restore. Once it says restore, we can change the brush size here. I'm going to go over and fix this. And I will be going over all of this and more in my Canva class. Check the community tab. If you're in our Facebook group, check that. I will be having several Canva courses coming up and I'm extremely excited because everyone loves Canva. I'm even having one-on-one. -on -one. So stay tuned for more information with that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you check our community tab here on YouTube so you can know because I will be putting out more information there. 
And I'm actually going to even put a link down below so that you can sign up for emails. And I'll put that information in the email so that I can have your email and send you information directly. Okay. So I'm scooting this up and I'm restoring what I want. Now, it does not have to be perfect because I am going to be putting a block over it. But now that looks so much better and it restored this and all of the, his arm and everything. OK, so I'm going to go to done. Now we have him on the field here. And then I'm going to apply it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the words. This right here is actually a block there. So I'm going to add a block. I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to change this square into more of a rectangle, which is more of like a block. And I'm scooting him up so that it can blend in with the background. So this block, I'm going to turn black. Okay, so now it gives a sharp edge for the bottom of him right there. And then now we're simply going to add text because his arm is cut off there. I'm going to make sure that the text is covering that and I'm going to put text here. Now we're going to go over to text and then I'm just going to click here to start. And I'm going to put go. Oops. Let me just make sure it's all caps. It's all caps here, but when I change it to another font, it may not. Okay, we're going to go up top, and then I'm going to change it to Varsity Team Bold. You can see what font you want. Everything depends on your style and what you want, and that's the fun part with it, okay? Also, we can change the size again if we need to, if you want to see the whole thing. So we're going to go, go Daniel. I think I have an exclamation mark. Yep. An exclamation mark. And then I'll, since I already have the text and everything, I'm going to just duplicate it. You can start over. You can do it. However, as you guys know, I always say it's multiple ways to skin a cat. Okay. So like I said, it's always multiple ways to do things because it's more than one way to skin a cat. All right. This is just my preference. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, uh, duplicate it again. And we're just going to put game day. You can put whatever you want on here. Okay. You do not have to use this. You can put literally whatever you want on here. You can put multiple pictures, different words, all types of things. Now we want it to kind of be bold and bright and stand out. So we're going to go ahead and pick kind of a yellow color. If you guys haven't watched my other Canva videos, you see at the bottom that pa that pound or hashtag, y'all, y'all, I'm showing my age. That down there, that's the Hex code, H E X. That shows you all, every single color has a Hex code. Okay, so if you're using the same colors and certain things, you want to make sure it's a certain Hex code. You can even Google Hex codes. Anywho, this is the kind of mustardy kind of color we're going to be using because we want to add a little bit of pop. We see that green and that black and then the CMA colors. <laughs> Shout out to my old school CMA pharaohs. Woo -woo. Anywho, yes, me and my baby brother did go to the same school, tons and tons of years apart. <laughs> same school nonetheless. So what we're going to do is put this here. Now, when you're designing, placement is everything. Placement as well as the font sizes and the fonts that you use. So what I'm doing here, we measure this. Remember, we're making our image 10 and a half in height. Now, I measure the image around. I'm going to show you what part I measured. I measured this part, okay? This part right here measured six inches. And then this part measured three and like seven, five, like from here to here, it was like three, seven, five inches. Okay. So you want to make sure when you're doing this in particular, or anything that you're using, you want to make sure if things change or if there are different sizes that you have the correct measurement. Because if I put game day too far low, the game day will be cut off. Does that make sense? 
So if I put game day too low, it'll be cut off and then your, your design will be ruined. So what I'm going to do is I'm not also not going to place everything too far. I don't care if his arm gets cut off here because remember, I'm, I'm making this eight and a half and eight and a half inches in width, but really the surface is only six inches. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have everything kind of centered so that those additional inches on the sides here won't cut off the designs. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this go down your larger. And remember, we're covering up this elbow here because it's cut off and see, bam, it's hitting. You can't see that anymore. Okay. So we're going to put that there. We're going to make this 33 large and bold because that's his number. When we're holding this up, we want to make sure that it's seen, et cetera. And then game day up under here. Okay. Okay. So how do we know what these inches are? We are going to select all of these images. I'm literally holding shift and I'm selecting all of these images, even the black background there. And now look here, I'm moving it and look what's ha look what happens. It shows W, which is width 8.3 and height is six. So this is the exact amount of inches that the actual top of the paddle board is. So we want to make it about 5.6. And then we want to scoot it over some. Okay. So you also. So you also have to keep in account that this at the top is going to be just a little bit extra. Because remember, we made it 8.5 in height. Oh, sorry. 10.5 in height. When really, it's only 8 inches in height. So it's going to be some extra room here. So you don't want his head to get cut off. So you want to make sure there's enough space at the top for you to wiggle around that paddle board. So remember, the paddle board is actually six inches. We're making this 5.6 5 5 inches. Okay, so we're going to scoot this right here. And now we have enough space around here and around. You also could, I'm going to show you what you could also do. You could take words or you could take, we'll take an image, an element. I'm going to add an element and I'm going to make this element an inch. And look, you see that? It's showing you the size of the element. I'm making it one inch, one inch. And I'll put it here to make sure that I can go oops, and move. I can go as far as one inch down. See that? It's a little bit of his helmet. I know it won't be one inch down. I know it won't be one inches away, but just use that as like a measurement to make sure you have enough space. I'm deleting that. We can command A, which is select all. We can group it. And then literally it's done. You're done. That's it. That design is done. You could always ungroup it if you want to make the 33 larger. If you want to make the other words larger. I want to make the 33 a little bit larger. Okay. Bam. That design is completely done. We make sure that we save it because you always want to make sure you're saving everything. You know we upload and then we print out in silhouette. I'll show you that in a second. That's how you make the first design. Now the second design is a memorial okay i'm gonna show you how we did that we literally went to photos and we searched clouds okay i absolutely loved which cloud did i use this one because it's like something in the 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 sun shining in the middle i right clicked it i set it as my background bam I went to Google and then I found an Ipsy element, an Ipsy, goodness gracious, a Nipsy photo. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the background of that photo. Once it loads, sometimes it takes a second to load. Okay, so we're going to select the image. We're going to go to edit image and we're going to go to background remover. All right. We're going to let Canva do what it does. Boop. And it cleared everything out. 
Now you see all this um, extra space. I know it's the right word for it. I can't think of it right now. We're going to go to the top and we're going to flip him so he can be facing this way. All right. Now there's nothing to like hide anything. We're going to apply to hide him. So we're actually going to go back over to photos. And then we're going to search, well, clouds. We're already in clouds still. And then we're going to take this cloud right here. And then we're going to put this over. Now, you see this looks different, right? So let me show you what happened. You see that? Well, let me make sure that's the right cloud. Oh, no. Is that the right cloud? No, that's not the right cloud. Where is that cloud I used? This is the cloud I use. So you see that? Now we're going to remove the backgrounds for that cloud. And it still looks a little off. So I'm going to show you what we did to make the clouds match the clouds in the actual photo. Okay. Come on, Canva. Thank you. So what Canva did was it removed a lot of the cloud, which actually works out to our advantage because we don't need a lot of it. We're just going to make it larger. If we needed to restore some of it, we could. But we don't even need all of this cloud. I'm going to press done, apply, scoot it over. It does that sometimes. So let's revert it. We're going to have to remove it again. I don't know why sometimes it does it, but we needed to remove that background again. So if that happens to you, it's okay. It happens to me as well. Just go ahead and remove the background remover again. And then restore what areas we need restored. Press done. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move it over as close as possible. And what we're going to do is apply it. And then we're going to change that brightness. Now, look what happens. You see that? Change the brightness. We can do the contrast. And what I'm doing is I'm matching the other clouds in the photo. All right. So we're just covering up his bottom half so it won't look like he's just sticking like that. It'll be like he's coming out of a cloud. All right. So now this part was actually cool. What I did was I searched Google for in memory of images. And I'm not going to do it on here just to save you the time. But the only thing you have to do is search Google. See, in loving memory some marathon things. I searched Google because I didn't want to find the text. And I love how pretty that memory is. That memory is gorgeous. So what I did was I took this and I'm going to remove the background once it loads. What happens here, if, if this does this, it's not loading. And so that's what is taking a second for it to load. And this is because probably of where I am and my Wi-Fi. So that's probably why it's taking a second to load. Okay, and now that it's loaded, let's go ahead and remove that background. And that cloud looks weird. That's not the right cloud. I'm going to find the right cloud. It removed this so good. Apply. That looks so beautiful. I'm with you. I love this one. All right, now let's find this correct cloud. I'm sorry, I can't focus right. So we're going to go back to our elements. And then what happens when you use elements, unless you clear it, it saves them. So let's find out what it was this cloud. Okay, I'm like, that's not the right cloud. It looks really similar though. So we're going to just hurry, I'll hurry up and remove this. We're doing the same steps, though, removing the background, brightening the cloud, making sure that it matches. Those things are going to be the exact same. Ah, that's what it did. Okay. There we go. 
So I'm like, something looks different. I just cropped that part off and just made it bigger. There we go. Okay. I'm like, something not looking right. Anywho, I had to do that. At least it looks a lot better than what the other one was. The other one wasn't giving me what it was. It wasn't giving me what I was trying to get, right? It just wasn't. It was not. I just press C R and you can play with the shadows. Okay. I just press enter. Bam. Now in love and memory. And I'm not gonna use his real name. I'm just gonna put Nipsey Hustle. Um let's see what font did I use. Archivo black font for that. Nice and simple. Okay. You can also do a shortcut to get the text. You press on a Mac F N T. And then that just brings up the text right there. And look, it automatically was Archivo black. Okay. You can do all caps. You can do however you want to do it. However you see fit. And then, so I forgot I showed how we could do those shortcuts. All right, now here you want to make sure that the size is as small, is small so that it can fit. Now remember, we have to be mindful for these edges. So you want, this is going to have to be a little bit smaller. For what we're doing to make sure we have the edges all intact and I'm actually going to scoot him over because I remember those edges are not you want to have it enough enough around the edges so that you have that wiggle room okay and so it's not that close to his face either so we could just do it like that so when you design, like I said before, placement, fonts, sizes, those are the things that make your stuff look really professional and not. It all depends on placement. You see that magenta line? You know that helps center it. Okay? There we have that. And then now we're going to, I search Google and I got just some marathon flags because you know the marathon continues if you know anything about nipsey hustle you know i love nipsey, nipsey hustle may he rest in peace but he always talked about how the marathon continues etc you can make it bigger smaller etc now what we're going to do is just like how we did for the one at the uh the one on top we're going to make sure all of this is going to be less than six inches remember so that it can fit on the top part of the panel if this get cuts off that's fine because it's just clouds but we don't want his image or the bottom of the flags or anything like that to get cut off so now we have this you can make this bigger you can play around with it etc but now we have this image now we're going to go, go ahead and go over to Silhouette Studios and we're going to print this out. Okay, let's head over there. Now we're inside of Silhouette Studios and this is the business edition, even though you can do it on the free version. We're in, we're on a 11 by 17 sheet of paper and we're printing it out at 10.5 in height, 8.5 in width. This is for the Nipsey Hustle as well as for the football one. See? Bam! Now let's go ahead and print this out. If you know me, you know I already have pre-settings. I already have settings that are preset. So in here, we're working out of my Epson Workforce 7720. And we're going to go ahead and print this out. Okay? So let me print this out. And let's get to pressing and that's a wrap please like 
comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please holler at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. But yeah, y'all, that's exactly how I designed it. I absolutely love it. Um, Y'all know I love Canva. I am an affiliate, so if you do sign up, I do get a small percentage, but it's no additional cost to you. Okay, guys? So yeah, make sure you watch the video of how I finished it after I designed it. Um, it turned out really, really great. But please follow me on Instagram. Do dream one is the handle. I'm really trying to grow my following, so follow me over there as well as TikTok. Do dream one is the handle. Um, I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.